So you want to get good at Demon Souls. You've made it to the Penetrator. Don't worry, this guy is not that difficult. Now, I did forego letting Bior out for this run just so I can show you how a one-on-one -on -one fight with the Penetrator goes. Go ahead and walk on through the fog wall. Daggum Chucklehead gets exactly what he deserves. So the thing about the Penetrator is almost all of his swings start from his top right shoulder and go to the bottom left. You're always going to want to roll to the left. Go ahead and run on in there. Miss your first roll. And let him throw you across the arena. We do have enough health to survive, so it's not that big a deal. Go ahead and top off and get ready to get good. So as you can see, you just roll to the left, time your rolls correctly. That Dragon Bone Smasher is going to make real short work of the Penetrator. All of his attacks are pretty well telegraphed. That big sweeping circle, go ahead and give him a shove so you mess up your timing. Now that big sweeping circle you want to roll late. That dash you want to roll late. If he gets too far out on you, that reach of that sword will take advantage. So make sure you make a little space. Don't forget to block if you miss your roll timing. That's it. Penetrator down. Piece of cake. So after you take the penetrator down, you want to go ahead and make your world black tendency and head over to take care of Black Phantom Meralda. I should be waiting right inside this door for you. As you can see, you just want to poke your head in and take a roll out. Now she's engaged. I like to bring her over here to the open ground. It makes it a lot easier. Go ahead and use your spacing. Hit her with the end of the sword as she comes in for an attack. That guillotine axe she's got will hurt you very bad if you let it make contact. So use your spacing. If you mess up, just roll right out. Keep from letting her hit you. And then go ahead and knock her off the cliff. I didn't mean for that to happen, but I'm actually glad it did, because then I can show you this. If you happen to knock her off, her loot goes with her. But if you'll come in here to her spawn point, you can go ahead and quit and reload your game. When you get back in, that loot will be sitting right there on the floor waiting for you. So we've got one more stop on this. We're headed up towards Old King Alant. So on the way up there, you are going to run into a big blue dragon. Make sure you bring a lot of arrows. Whatever bow you decide to use, you can use a longbow, quality longbow, sticky longbow. We're using a lava bow here. I just prefer it over the others. It does a little less damage. But when you're dealing with normal enemies, the fire really does stagger them out. So just sit down here and pelt him with a bunch of arrows. After you get enough damage into him, he's going to fly away and head up towards the castle. Usually about half health. Now there's a couple of ways to deal with him up top. First off, you can bring about 40 to 50 kunai. What you want to do is you want to step inside the door and wait for his head to center up in that opening right there. Get two throws in. Let him do his head wiggle. Let his head settle back down. Get two more throws in. Now you've got him poisoned. You can kind of sit there and just let him slowly die. Uh, it will take a few applications of poison, so you want to bring a whole lot of kunai if you're going to go that route. Otherwise, just wait for the head to settle. Fire one arrow. Now this is time consuming. All dragons in Souls games tend to be time consuming, so... 
Just go ahead and pick him off a piece at a time. Just get your window right, and this will go down like a piece of cake. So guys, you do get a rather large chunk of souls from this uh, dragon. Definitely worth taking out. I know a lot of times we just run by and kind of forget about him, but uh, between what you get when you kill him and what you get from his soul, you're going to net a big old whopping almost 60,000 souls. You can see here he drops 26... Uh, 1,800 and then if you use the soul you get another 30,000 so hey guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like don't forget to subscribe and hit up that comment section down below in the next video we'll be taking on the end of the game till the next video thanks for watching